in our previous video I explained you how to draw 60 degree how to draw 35 45 we are done and 120 degree now how to construct 90 degree angle for that first we need to draw a straight line okay let's draw a straight line okay let's name it again as a and b right as we did it earlier first we are going to construct a 60 degree angle so we are going to place the needle at one end of the line and we are going to draw an arc right this is going to cut the line at one point place your needle of your compass do not change the distance between the needle and pencil it's very necessary always lock it okay and then make an arc which is going to cut this semi this circle which you have already drawn this one this arc okay So once you are done, you will see that it's, it has cut at one place over here. So this is your 60 degree. Now place your needle over here, okay, on this point and draw an another arc. Fine, let's draw it. Now this is going to be your 120, wherever it is cutting. Now if we place a ruler over here and draw a line passing through this point where the my needle is of a compass this is going to be your 60 degree okay this is going to be your 120 degree fine so let's do one thing let's draw it first so from the point here this is your 60 degree and This is going to be a 120 degree. So let's mention it also. I'm not changing the points where well, like naming them. We named it at C in previous videos. So it's C only at 60 degree. Okay. This is your 120. Okay, let's name it as G over here. So when we write it down about the angles, so you can write it out angle C, A, B is 60 degree. Fine. And angle G, A, B is your one. degree fine now this 90 degree is going to lie between 60 and 120 okay now what is the difference between them if I add 30 to 60 what it is going to give us 90 correct so if we are now that this now here if you see this is 120 this is 60 the angle between them is 60 right if I bisect this angle so the line which is going to pass from the center bisecting 60 and 120 is going to be what 90 degree right so from here only place your needle on this point and draw an arc let's just do it okay. now place your needle on the other end 
and and drawing another arc can you see it's going to cut over here let's draw a line from a and this point where these two arcs are cutting each other okay now this is going to be 90 degree right why 90 this hole was 60 degree we have bisected this angle that means this was 60 plus 30 is 90 degree so let's name it let's give it a name over here as h okay so you can write it down over here angle H A B is 90 degree. Now how to construct 135? Any idea? No? Let me tell you. 135 is going to be on the more over here this area it's more than 120 so it's going to be over somewhere here right so let's do one thing make an another arc from 120 let's see When you are mark making another arc, so it's actually just uh, marking 60, 60 degree angle. From here, 60, again 60, it came out to be 120, again 60, what it will be? Any idea? 120 plus 60, it's going to be 180, simple. So let's join it and we'll get a actually a straight line okay so we can name it over here let's say it's j okay so angle j a b j a b is actually 180 degree that is straight angle right now 135 means you had to bisect it when you bisect so 120 plus 30 it is going to bisect in 30 and 30 so 120 and 1 third and 30 degree it's going to give you 150 degree right 120 plus 30 is how much? 150. So let's bisect it first. Let's see how much it is going to get. So for bisecting, again, you will place your compass over here and you will make an arc between 120 and 180. Right? Now place your compass on the other end the, because we are bisecting this angle. So once we are bisecting this, okay, let's write it down also. So this is where 180. When you draw a line from A from this intersecting arc point, you are going to get 150. 
so from here if I draw a line passing this stone I'll get one fifty degrees. One thirty five is going to lie between one twenty and fifty. This is thirty. This is also thirty, right? And if I add one twenty plus fifteen, that means if I bisect this thirty degree, I will be getting one thirty five degree angle. So let's do it. So place your compass over here. Make an arc. Okay, place on the other point and make an arc. So now if you see it's not cutting because that uh, earlier arc was quite small. So we are going to do it again. Right, now we got the point. You can see here, now join this point by A with A point. Okay, now this is your 135. Okay, because this hole was 30, we bisected the 30, so it, this is 15, 20 plus 15 makes it 135 degree. So we can even write it down on the side, right? So angle, first we have drawn 150, so let's name it first. We have given J over here, uh, K and L, let's give it K and L. K L. So you can write it down over here. K A B. Is one fifty and angle L A B. Is 135. Hope you have understood how we can draw the angles. Now we are done with all the angles of this question. Right? But remember, we can only draw the angles which are the multiple of 15, multiple of 30, multiple of 60. Okay, we cannot draw just any angle. Or if you see over all of them, they all are multiple of 15. Okay, so that's the reason we are able to draw them. 